Research from the British Retail Consortium has highlighted that one in seven shops is now empty and there are 5,000 fewer shops since the start of the pandemic. This marks three years of increasing retail vacancy rates since 2018. The north of England uh, particularly badly hit. Let's speak now to Ian Watson, CEO of Skelmersdale-based Hotter Shoes, a firm that sells over 1.3 million pairs a year and last year closed the majority of its physical stores during the pandemic. Ian, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, let's talk about those physical stores. How many of them have reopened? Yeah, so we've opened 23 uh, of our stores, so 17 of our standalone products and six within garden centres. So it's 23 have reopened. And how many remain closed? Yeah, so we, we closed over 50 stores in August of last year. So the, the stores that have still not opened, uh, are you hoping to reopen them? No, we won't be reopening those 50 stores. We, we uh, relinquished the leases on those last year. Uh, and what was the key factor in that decision? I think the key factor is changing consumer buying behaviour. So what we've seen over what is now three lockdowns that the consumer has transitioned to buying products which they traditionally bought on the high street uh, through digital channels. And, and therefore, we assessed the, the number of stores we had. We looked at the business rate situation and the ongoing rent situation. Uh, and we, we decided that uh, online uh, was the right transition for us in, as we move forward. That's interesting because when you think of, of your product, shoes, it's the sort of thing that people really like to go into a, into a store and try on before they buy rather than have them delivered to home. They perhaps don't fit and, and they then have to go and send them back again. Well, I think that that is the perception, but that perception has been changing over, over the last year. So we, we serve a target audience of predominantly people in their 50s and older and their usage of the internet has grown substantially uh, during this period. People have got used to using Zoom and FaceTime to talk to their family. They've got used to buying groceries online and they've got used to buying shoes online. And we've seen a huge transition from people who wanted to go into a physical store to buying their products online. And today, you know, our business is 75% digital. Yeah, for the stores that you are keeping open, uh, what would you like to see the government doing to help support uh, the return to the high street? Uh, you know, it's, it's early days yet, isn't it? Uh, people are wanting to get back out and, and, and go to shops, but presumably you're looking for, for more support in this phase. Yeah, I think if you look at it, the, the reopening over the last couple of weeks, we've seen significantly lower footfalls so circa 50 to 60% fewer people on the high street than we saw pre-COVID. Pre I think the government needs to really look at what they're going to support retail. Currently, uh, business rates relief is until the summer. But I think an overall review of business rates and, and how, how this works in the UK is, is desperately needed. Otherwise, uh, and this is very much the message I'm hearing from people in business, otherwise, presumably you are concerned looking to the future of the high street, uh, of which your stores remain a part, what that future is, is going to really look like, how successful it can be. Yeah, I think there's a couple of elements to it, though. So there is, you know, government policy around the high street. But secondly, how, how the consumer wants to shop. So we've seen a reduction in the high street over many, many years. And what COVID has done is just accelerate that shift to digital. And therefore, it's our, our vision as a business to make sure that we're, we're enabling consumers to shop wherever they like. Ian, thank you very much for talking to us on BBC News today. Ian Watson, CEO of Hotter Shoes.